About 3 billion Protestants, Catholics and others believe that Jesus Christ was crucified on Good Friday and that he rose on Easter Sunday and defeated death. Again, the question that we need to deal with is that when you look at this, Jesus actually violated his own words because very few Christians analyze their Bible, their verses and their practices beyond mere sentimental preachings and sermons that they listen to and music and the entertainment that they have. They cannot answer comprehensively what is the proof God was crucified and rose from death. Let's efface it. Did he rise from death because Jesus gave evidence in Matthew 12 verse 40 that like the son of Jonah for three days and three nights he will be in the belly of the fish so he will be also in the belly of the earth but if he was crucified on Friday and rose on Sunday that's not enough you can go to this uh, Torah times and uh, find out how Christ was raised on the Sabbath after having crucified on 14th in Nisan in AD 31, that is, if you use AD 31 and AD 34 on Wednesday. Therefore, we will share in this video a lot of facts demonstrating that Jesus did not rise from the dead. The burden of the proof is on those who hold these convictions deeply to disprove us, not merely theoretical, but also in practice. That's why Paul, just like many others, is of the belief that if Jesus has not been raised their preaching and their belief and their religion is in vain. It is very clear that there's a lot of deception that has gone on. And let's face it, he did not die or rise from death. Because there are so many contradictions. And also we read in Matthew 27, 52, 53 that many saints rose up. And this is not widely corroborated by other historic or biblical accounts. Not even one saint is named. Therefore, we want to give seven reasons that prove that Jesus did not die and rise from uh, the dead. And these proofs is that Jesus never lived. One, two, there are three tombs associated with the burial of Jesus. Very few Christians understand and know that. And three, the absence of evidence versus evidence of absence. Four, nature of the real creator is not understood by billions and billions of people who never understand this. But it's a very straightforward, clear understanding five astro theology six contradictions that are found within the story of the rising the death the burial the crucifixion of jesus and uh, last but not least saint helena's proof let's consider these and go on and look into them in detail jesus christ never lived there is clear evidence if you read the book the historical origin of christianity by dr walter williams it is very true that there has never been a man that ever walked the earth in human form of any race, creed, or color by the name Jesus Christ, but it is Serapis created by our African ancestors for the Greeks. Because of that, the resurrection of Ausari, depicted in the diagrams that we are showing, proves that Ausari became the type and symbol of resurrection among us, the Africans, in all periods of time. Because he was a god, Mondo originally a mortal man, with a family and a wife, rose from the dead. It's a different type of rising from the dead. So this is true. If this is true, it means that there was no resurrection in the sense that you have been taught by Christianity. Number two, there are three empty tombs. The first one is the one we want to deal with is Talpiot, a family tomb. It is found in the garden as it appeared in 1920 was only identified as a possible site for the tomb of Jesus in the 19th century. You can go to Wikimedia Commons to find it and explanations that are found there. The Church of the Holy Sepulchre, which is very important and very interesting. These three empty tombs in Jerusalem prove beyond any reasonable doubt that Jesus' burial was also controversial because he was supposed to be buried in one place. And the story gives us one place and uh, he did not rise from the dead because he never lived. But we want to deal with the effects so that we can at least show that the absence of evidence versus evidence of absence proves that there are alternative explanations for the empty tomb theory or empty tombs theory because there were many tombs because 
for example Jesus never lived therefore there was no issue of a body being stolen there was no issue for a wrong tomb being used there was no story for the body to be moved from another place because the resurrection that is involved here is a spiritual revival or a spiritual ascension of a physical human being to become an ancestor just like Aosari and Oreso and many many other ancestors that we follow today number four the nature of the real creator is that is unknowable is neither a being nor a spirit when you consider that christianity says jesus was fully and truly god the creator of death then his resurrection wouldn't be a miraculous event because it would simply be a demonstration of his control over something that he created in this light his resurrection appears more like a performance than a true miracle the resurrection would be symbolic rather than literal representing spiritual renewal or the continuation of his teachings through his followers or his spirit through his followers number five proof that he did not rise from death astro theology solar a symbol the word the resurrection itself which comes from the latin resurrectio is derived from the combination of re which means repeat or again and sugere which means to rise like in astronomical planets as we see them using our common eyesight and our common understanding that the sun rises from the east the term essentially means rising again tomorrow it will rise again the sun especially revival or your revival or your energy getting your energy levels back it has been used for centuries to describe the concept of coming back to life after death associated with nature and its cycles the seasons in ancient hamit were three in ancient africa are three seasons rain season planting and harvest and dry season it is very obvious that these are also depicted as the three seasons in the last supper and all the disciples represents the seasons in astro theology this is knowledgeable it was known in ancient times so it was borrowed and put on the person of jesus christ astro theology is the study of religious symbols and myths in relation to astronomical phenomena proponents of this approach interpret religious narratives including the resurrection of jesus as allegorical representation of celestial events such as the movement of the sun and the stars in the zodiac this predates jesus christ by thousands of years because the truth about astro theology is that it is the issue ra and the rising of ra it was borrowed and it is taught in the bible in many sections we will quote a few here in luke 1 78 79 we read that because of the tender mercy of our god elohim many gods by which the rising sun will come to us from heaven to shine on those living in darkness and the shadow of death to guide our feet into the path of peace astro theology in revelation 12 1 to 2 a great sign appeared in heaven a woman clothed with the sun with the moon under her feet and a crown of 12 stars on her head she was pregnant and cried out in pain as she was about to give birth astro theology six contradictions and discrepancies and variations found in the resurrection narratives we will pick a few here in matthew 28 1 to 10 we find that it is mary magdalene and the other mary who visited the tomb right in mark 16 1 to 8 it is mary magdalene mary the mother of james and the salome who visited the tomb in luke 24 1 to 12 it is described as a group of women including mary magdalene joanna mary the mother of james and others in john 20 1 to 10 it is only mary magdalene mentioned initially and then later on there's a lot of addition that comes on these bible contradictions prove that this is a human story authored by human beings it includes a lot of faith and there is also a lot of skepticism it proves that he did not rise from the dead but it's a syncretic narrative borrowed from many many other sources let's look at five eyewitness and the doubts the reactions of the disciples to the news of jesus resurrection vary 
in many occasions and many other accounts, they initially disbelieve or doubt. These are the verses that are given. But how is this settled? It is the same thing that occurred to Paul, who never met Jesus publicly, who argued as if he met Jesus or lived with Jesus. This is the same spirit that Christians have. It is through two essential components that comes in the minds of many. It is by faith. What is faith? According to the Bible, it is to believe without evidence, to believe anything without proof. Whether you will say it works or it doesn't work, it is clear that eyewitnesses were supposed to all of them 100% believe, but they, some of them doubted. Let's look at St. Helena's evidence to prove that Jesus did not rise from the dead because he never lived. He was created by these people. It is very clear that uh, the person who discovered Jesus' burial place, the tomb now popular, known as the Holy Sepulchre in Jerusalem, and also found the wooden poles that were used in the crucifixion, came 326 years after the crucifixion. And it is St. Helena, the mother of the emperor who established Christianity. But we know that there has never been a man of any creed, race or color who walked the earth by the name Jesus Christ. It's all Serapis, it's all or Roman. This is proof number seven that he did not rise from the dead because he never existed, he was created. Also, other scholars in ancient times like Sosman, a contemporary historian who wrote the book, The Ecclesiastical History of Sozomen from AD 324 to AD 425, proved that there is a story in ecclesiastical history where he describes Helena who ordered the excavation of the site believed to be Golgotha, the place of the skull. And let's face this fact. This proves that these are the people that created Good Friday and Golgotha and the stories. And then they said when they went on to excavate, they then discovered the place where he was buried and also the poles or the wood that was used during his crucifixion. And today, a lot of you believe and continue to believe this story and the evidence, the footsteps that we are showing here it's quite clear that this is a human invented story, but powered by certain spirits that are found in the heavens and from ancient times. Then St. Ambrose of uh, Milan, the Bishop of Milan, also references St. Helena's discoveries in his writings in Ambrose of Milan, the letter, Epistle 22. He recounts the story of Helena's journey to Jerusalem and the miraculous discovery of the true cross. And we know that, let's face it, it, he did not rise from the dead because he never lived. There has never been a man that ever walked the earth in human form of any race, creed, or color by the name of Jesus Christ, also known as Serapis. Because of that, the absence of Jesus' body in the tomb is conclusive proof that the Good Friday Easter Sunday tradition and resurrection tradition lacks robust evidence to support Christianity's extraordinary claims that God or the Creator decided to die for humanity. Because if this is the truth that Jesus conquered that which he created, why did Jesus defeat sin, defeat the devil, but left Satan and sin rampant on the earth and he rushed back to heaven. This is clear that this is a story copied from our ancestral veneration and copied from all other sources now personified by an entity created by the likes of St. Helena, Constantine the Great and the Church Fathers. Yes, this is true. If you want to learn more, if you want to contribute, if you want to walk this journey, subscribe to our channel Hamid Iburu Ethics, like our videos, leave a comment because from your comments we learn a lot. Your Hammer Ninja Topi, Christian Rabbi, LM Music, Kunken Jaganja, asks you and says, please.
send us an email on joinatmarefado.com and let's communicate and let's share ideas to grow, to understand and to massively change the narrative for our uh, great arisal and our great resurrection. Jesus never lived. Jesus was created by the church fathers. We have shown the footsteps, the evidence and the proof. The choice is up to you to believe their story or to believe your ancestors and start to revere them and the deities. Amen.